after understanding the second case of the first order differential equation which was the non homogeneous case 1 in which b was not equal to 0 neither was a so we are going to do the final case the third case and within the non homogeneous cases this is the second case and definitely non homogeneous case requires that right hand side is not equal to 0 of this certain equation however a is now permitted to be 0 so it becomes a non homogeneous case where a is equal to 0 so this is the differential equation where a is equal to 0 and we put this value here just to get the uh, standard form converted into the current situation where a is equal to 0 so the term containing a disappears and now we know that the rate of change of y over time is a constant value that is b we know that in such situation the time path has two parts one is the equilibrium other is the deviation from it so we try to explain them one by one the complementary function comes first and in it is equivalent to the general solution of homogeneous case we have done this before this approximation and this um, can be understood from the previous video so the complementary function is now achieved and what we do is that we put a is equal to 0 here because in this situation a is equal to 0 so when we do this the answer will reduce to this that is y c is equal to a and now we have the value of y c so we put it in place of y c whereas y p remains there because it is yet to be found for that we come to yp that is the particular solution if we recall the last case where the non homogeneous case was there with a was not equal to 0 we considered that y is a constant as a first assumption and that means that the derivative of the rate of uh, the derivative of y would be equal to 0 now if we put this value in the given form and because the given differential equation is like this because a is equal to 0 and the term containing a that is a y it, it disappeared so if I put this uh, assumption that is dy over dt is equal to 0 here the left hand side would be 0 and the right hand side is already b which are not equal to each other because we know it is a non homogeneous case where b cannot be 0 so this is definitely not true in this case and we cannot work with this uh, assumption so we have to come to the other assumption because we remember that the first assumption was that y is a constant and the other assumption is that y is uh, not a constant so if it is not a constant it must be some sort of variable that is y is not just equal to k but k into t so we will try this value instead of this value which was assumed to be a constant now we experiment with this and we dispel the constant assumption because the constant assumption didn't work out so we find the derivative with respect to t in order to find the value of dy over dt here it is evaluated dy over dt taking the derivative on the right hand side we get k so the derivative is equal to k now we have the differential equation where a is equal to 0 this was the equation and as per this equation if we compare these two left hand sides k will be equal to b so we get this value by comparing these two equations 
so if k is equal to b then this assumption that we started with that it's a non constant then we put k is equal to b so it becomes y is equal to b t instead of y is equal to k t now since this is a satisfying solution because there is no controversy uh, or contradiction in the equality it is getting satisfied so we can say that this value of y is actually a particular solution or the equilibrium value in this case of the differential equation so we write it as yp which is the particular solution or a proper solution of the differential equation now that we have found the uh, solution of the differential equation for from the particular point of view that is the equilibrium value or the particular integral or particular function we can put it back into the time path equation we already know that a was found to be equal to yc and now we have yp as the uh, other value that we want to put so yp is equal to bt so we substituted its value now this is the general solution of this case that is non-homogeneous case where a is equal to zero this is the general solution definitely we want to definitize it and when we do we have to put the initial condition that is t is equal to zero putting t is equal to zero we get this expression which can be further simplified that a will be equal to y naught a is equal to y naught is something we get and uh, we substitute the value of a here that is here and now a is gone and we have found its value so this general solution becomes the definite solution of the non-homogeneous case of the first order differential equation where a is equal to zero so now we have found the definite and general solutions of all the cases that is homogeneous case and then the non-homogeneous case with a equal a not equal to zero and the other non-homogeneous case where a is equal to zero so all three cases have been now uh, uh, solved and we have found their general solutions as well as the definite solutions. So now we are in a position to solve uh, various first order differential equations by using these three formulas whichever of them fits in a certain situation. Thank you.